hey guys this is uh, lead good questions 120 the triangle right so the question is saying given a triangle array return the minimum number minimum path sum from top to bottom for each step you may move to an adjacent number of the row below move formally if you are on index i or any index right to cut it right you may move to i or i plus one on the next row so let's see first example is example first we have triangle it in which uh, it is 2d uh, array that contains different values 2 3 4 6 5 7 like that right so at index 0 it is 2 index second we have 3 to 4 3 4 like that so how we calculate so first index at 0 will come to this row right and the second will come the next row right similarly we will do for other indexes that will go to the next to next row right as we have here now you have to return the minimum path sum from top to bottom so how we will calculate from 2 we will start 2 is alone in the row so we will start from 2 then we will move to next row 3 2 4 and th in 3 and 4 3 is minimum in the next row we have 6 5 7 in which 5 is minimum and the last row we have 4 1 8 3 in which 1 is minimum so we will calculate 2 3 5 and 1 which is equal to 11 right 2 3 and 5 we will do sum and is it, it is equal to 11 so we have to return this 11 as a value right so this way we have to calculate the value the logic we have to calculate and return. so now let's understand how we are going to do the coding so already you have the skeleton uh, given in the lead code uh, class and uh, the method return type the method that contains is a list of list right because we have already given right in this class right the list will contain a list as a element okay at each index of list there will be a list of integers this is called triangle right like you can say uh, a triangle we have here two three four six five seven four one eight three like this we have given th that is a list of list in this way what we have to do we have to take the first size of the array right and then we will take a minimum path sum value that will uh, contain uh, the max integer value right now we are taking dp because this is a dp based question right and dp array will contains the calculated value that we have already gone through like if we are going from 2 to 3 or 2 to 4 2 to 4 right so if we have to check the value then it should be somewhere that is the dp right so generally people used to use dp only to store the value so that it is called memorization right we do not need to recalculate the value that's why we used to take dp here okay now focus on the thing right so initially we have to fill the dp all the uh, columns or uh, all the elements value as a minus one means we are not have calculated this index value you can say particular uh, element we have not calculated right then we will try to and this uh, you can say uh, this dp will fill uh, automatically by using array dot fills method right now we have to move each element right how we will use j equal to 0 to j is less than n and j plus plus in which we have a method memorization solution here triangle n minus 1 j and dp so this method will give you give you a, a sum of the value and you have to check the minimum value like we have the integer max value and if the calculator value will come from the memorization solution method so we have to check right 
the path sun select in ith element last row that, that will contain a element right so in that we will check which is menu that will the math uh, that will be calculate the math and it will return mean path sum and that we have to return so this method that we have written memorization solution is basically contains the logic right so like like a triangle we have array i j we have n minus 1 and j and dp we have the to store the value right so we have here multiple conditions right we have here multiple conditions based on different examples right that we will see now and this dp will con we will store the dp value now the first logic we have i equal equal to 0 and j equal equal to 0 because there may be only one element like example 2 have only one element right so the dp 0 0 will contains this value right array dot get i and get j will be the return sum value because there is only one element i0 j0 correct because i is n minus 1 right and j is the index of inside of the triangle right so example 2 we have triangle minus 10 and we are returning minus 10 as a value only one so this case will be get satisfied and it will return the sum no it will not go forward right now we have two we have three uh, other logic right like if we have i is less than 0 or j is less than 0 or j is greater than or equal to array dot get i dot size means the size j value is greater than the size of what array size right so in that case we have to div divide the max integer value by 2 and we will return the value right which is I, I i think in this case that is not possible right so we will move to the next if condition and we will check if if the ever value is not present right means if dp doesn't have value right it is not calculated right it's already calculated sorry it's already calculated not equal to means it's already calculated then we will return d of i and j we do not need to calculate in the last we will check if it is not minus one means we have to calculate then we have to check very simple thing right to store in the dp the first mean path by moving up mean path by moving up left this will calculate exact value right like in, in, in the memorization solution we are calling internally this one right to get this value from like uh, top to bottom to to like that right two three five eight right so we are doing so the first moving up we will take i minus one j and dp right right you can see here i minus one j and dp plus this will the other value will be also there array dot get i get j right and then up left we will take i minus 1 j minus 1 and similarly array dot get i get j will be there now we have to check up is big one yeah up left is big one in that case in that case what we have to do we have to check which one is minimum and that we will store in mean path at i j at index like this we will move okay like this we will move and then whatever the value will come you uh, from uh, moving up and moving up left right that will come into the this variable right uh, mean path at ij index and finally we will check math dot mean and uh, moving up and moving left right and we will get the value and we will store this value this value in dp right so ever we have already know if db doesn't have doesn't already has been calculated then we will return if not then we will move to here this position correct so i think uh, you are understood all these logics but if you have any doubt right please ping me in the comment box or you, you can approach me to resolve your doubt and be in touch 
we continue the programming suite as well as our export funder thank you so much please subscribe